Hello, welcome to the Math 135 video for the domain of log 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 of x. My name is Professor Michael Polyuk. The intensity of this video is spicy, which means that it is at or above the level of the hard test questions. The learning objectives for this video are, by the end of this video, you should be able to compute the domain of a composition of logarithms. Let's start with a math joke. What is the sound of a drowning number theorist? This is a common math joke that people say. The answer is log, 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 log. So it's funny, right? Well, it's probably not funny to you because you don't understand what it means. So let's explain that first. Number theory is concerned with very, very, very slowly growing functions that have to do with the primes and the powers of primes. So instead of dealing with how quickly a function f of x is growing, they look at log of f of x, which may appear more linear and is easier for people to understand. This is called a logarithmic scale. So instead of looking at the original function, they look at log of that function. Now that you understand the joke, isn't it funny? Well, we're going to be using log 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 of n, and we're going to be dealing with a question related to it. So our question is, what is the domain of log 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 of x? So how do we even start this question? It looks so complicated. Let's introduce a pretty important problem solving technique for dealing with complicated problems. If you have a complicated problem, then try to solve a simpler problem and work back up to the more complicated problem. And if you can't solve the simpler problem, Keep making it simpler until you've reached something that you can solve. So let's start with this simpler question. What's the domain of log log x? Well, this is still kind of too complicated. So can we think of an even simpler question than this? Well, here's an even simpler question. What's the domain of log of x? And if you can't answer this, that means that you need to review logarithms. And you shouldn't have even been really attempting the harder question because you can't do the simpler question. But we're gonna work our way up from the simple question all the way up to our original question. So let's answer the question, what's the domain of log of x? Here's a picture of log of x, and we wanna know what values of x are we allowed to input? Well, it's any x that's positive, so you might answer, it's the interval open zero to infinity. That's the domain of log of x. Okay, so let's go back to our middle level question. What's the domain of log log x? Well, the idea here is that log only accepts positive inputs. So we're gonna take log of something positive. And now we have another question to answer. When is the inner argument, log of x, when is that positive? Because we're only allowed to put positive things in here. Well, looking at the graph again, log of x is positive once it crosses the x-axis. Where does it cross the x-axis? It crosses it at x equals one. So we can see from our picture that once we cross x equals one, log will always be positive. So for our simpler question, what is the domain of log log x? The answer is open one to positive infinity. All right, now we're ready to go back to our original question. What is the domain of log 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 of x? Well, the idea is that now we need to know when is the argument log log x positive? Well, log log x is positive only when the argument is greater than one. We just looked at this. And now when is, the, when is log of x greater than one? Let's look at the picture. So when does this happen? When does log finally pass one? Well, here you can think of when is log equal to exactly one? Well, that happens at log of e. So log of x is greater than one when x is greater than e. 
So the answer to our question, what is the domain of log 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 of x? The answer is positive e to infinity. So now we've answered our original question by going to simpler questions, answering the simplest question we could, and working back up. Let's end with some spicy exercises. Find the domain of log 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 of x. Find the domain of log base 2 log base 2 log base 2 of x. And to generalize those things for our spiciest example, let a, b, c, and d be constants greater than 1. Find the domain of log base log base a of log base b of log base c of log base d of x. You can do these problems. Think of the simpler problem and work your way back up. So let's end with a reflection. What is a good strategy for approaching complicated problems with many parts? Is there only one way to find a simpler problem or are there many possibilities? Are you drowning or are you waving? Thank you very much and have a great day.